Okay, so this is the guitar tutorial for the song by Kuko but, uh, called, I'm um, probably going to pronounce this incorrectly, but Piel Canela. Um, and I'm just going to walk through all the different parts of this song. So you're just in regular E tuning. Okay, um, so make sure you're all tuned up. Alright, so it starts off with the riff. So you're going to be on the G string and you're going to be on the, on the seventh fret. And I'm going to start with my pointer finger and you're going to have an up and down sequence of picking on this note. So it's going to be a triplet type on that note. And then you're just going to walk up one fret at a time to the nine, middle to ring. Okay. You can down pick the the eight and nine. So down up down down down. Then middle finger is going to come up to the eight on the high E string, and then you're going to go to seven on the B string. So putting that together, it'll be. It does that two times. So that's the first half of the opening riff. Second half starts the same. Triplet on the seven here. And then you're going to bar on the seventh fret, the E and the B string with your pointer, with your pointer finger laying flat. Okay. Just underneath, underneath your finger. Okay, so not the tips, but underneath. And your thumb is really squishing on the back of the middle of your neck to really give pressure to get those down. Okay, so that'll take a little bit of little bit of practice, but that'll that'll be what you want is to bar there. So you're gonna go. Okay, and as that gets stronger, you can use your, your palm a little bit. You don't have to necessarily just use your thumb. So if that works better to use your palm right there, you can do that with your thumb coming up over the top. So both halves together, it'll be. Second half. And it goes back to the first. One time, just one time. And then you've got this little riff to end it. Pinky. Okay, so your pinky is going to be on <clears throat> on the 10, high E, okay, 10, 8, 7, pinky, middle pointer. And then your pinky is going to come on 10 on the B. And I would down uh, double, uh, double pick that first part, down, up, down, and then either down or up. I go up on that last on the B string but you can go down on the B string, okay? Either way, okay? So you're gonna come here for the, for the first part. Second half, bar. One time, riff. And then end, you're gonna go seven on the G string, seven, nine, then B string seven, eight. And then stop it with your hand here. So don't let it ring. So you're gonna stop it. And then you have three just punctuated notes on that eight. Okay, so the whole thing will sound like this. And we'll do this a couple times so you can practice with it, a little slower. One, two, Second half. First half once. Riff. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three.
Okay, so that takes you through the intro. Then you've got your chords. You're gonna need an A minor. Then do a D major. And then do a G major. You can play a G major like that, either way. Then A minor, D, G major. So that repeats twice. Then you go to a B7. Okay, so you're doing second fret A string. 1st fret D string, 2nd fret G string, and then come in 2nd fret on the high E. And just strumming from your A string. And then an E minor, then A minor, and D. And that's the whole progression. So it's A minor, D, G. A minor, D, G. B7, E minor. A minor and D. Okay, so to start off, you just want to be able to play along with the song, getting those down strums when it changes. And it's going to be basically on a rhythm of one, two, three, four, one. So you want to be able to play this back and practice along with me in that section and then try that with the song. Now, what you want to get to is you want to be able to do a strumming pattern that'll get closer to the song. So you're just going to do down up strums through the chords. So you're kind of hitting the top half of the chord and then the bottom half of the chord. So low strings, then high strings. Just to get that, that feel, so it's not all sounding the same. So it'll basically do that sequence twice, okay? So you've got the intro, and then you've got the chords for the verses, and then it has kind of a bridge section. This is the second kind of main riff of the song. So you're gonna start G string, seventh fret, ring finger, and your pointer finger is gonna be fifth fret, D, uh, fifth fret on, um, sorry, it's gonna be seventh fret on the D string, and then fifth fret on the G string. And then you're going to walk down the 6th fret, middle, uh, middle finger on the D string. Still pointer the same. And then what I would do is bar this next, so it's going to be 5 and 5. And then pointer finger on the 4, on the D string. So you're just walking it down. So that pointer finger kind of stays the same, except for that bar here. So it's just going to go... Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four. And then there's a transition riff. You're gonna go D string open two four. So it's gonna go transition. And then you're going to go five on the D string and then middle finger on four on the G string. And then you're going to bar here, both this four and then pointer on second fret D string. And you're going to still keep that fourth fret on the G string. So that'll sound like this. Okay. One more time. One. Okay, and then you're going to end with an open D string, okay? And then it comes back again to that uh, first part.
And then that second time, when you come up here, you don't do the second riff. It just stops on that fifth fret D string. And then you do just like that first intro where we have those three punch punchy notes. And then it goes back up to it. So let's try that whole thing and we'll do it to a tempo. One, two, ready, and. Back to the top. Transition, stop. Okay, and that will basically bring you back to the first intro. on here so those sections if you can get that intro that'll bookend it beginning and end of the songs so you got two parts done there same thing and then you've got your chords and the strumming pattern is gonna be the challenge okay and then you've got that bridge riff And that'll do it. So I uh, hope that was helpful for learning the Cuco song, Piel Canela, probably butchering the pronunciation, but hopefully that gets you close to playing this uh, real pretty melodic song.